Hey everybody, it's Altitude 2 and today I'm going to be showing you the game League of Legends for the PC. It's a free to play, 100% free and it's a fun game to uh all play. Um I wanted to show you the before part of the menus and selecting your game and whatnot. Unfortunately, Fraps, which I now have. Yes, this is my first Fraps video. Uh only lets me record the actual game and not the main menu, which is what you are seeing now. Um, I will be playing as Warwick, so you can see me up here as a uh, Warwick, Zylo fan. And uh, we're going to be fighting this opposite team below us. And I don't claim to be the best at League of Legends. I'm actually probably one of the worst at uh, League of Legends. Okay, maybe not the worst, but um, I'm not that great. League of Legends came from a game named Dota, which is an expansion off some other popular RTS, which I can't remember at the moment because I never played it. But um, so everyone who's played Dota knows exactly how to play this game because it's a total copy of it just with uh more uh I guess colorful characters I'd say and uh yeah so they know all the basic strategies and I'm a relative noob compared to them uh there's 50 plus characters and more being added every month so it's great there's somebody for everyone to play uh I being Zylo if you don't know Zylo is a werewolf I get to play Warwick who is a werewolf so I'm happy. Um, if you want a better review of this, because I'm not going to be reviewing it, I'm just going to be showing how I play it and maybe get you interested in it, uh, you can go listen to my podcast at gamersrant.podomatic.com. G-A-M... Okay, I don't even know how to spell my own podcast name, so that's great. Uh, gamersrant.podomatic.com or check for Gamers Rant on iTunes. Okay, and now I'm going way off track here. Okay, so now we're playing as, uh, playing the game here. Alright, so I'm Warwick. Warwick is, um, very good at ganking, and he is a DPS, which means damage per second. I'm kind of trying to say the lingo that I picked up in the game. Uh, he's also a jungler. He's very good at, uh, killing the random enemies that spawn in the game. Now, if you, uh, look around here, um, this is the map. As you can see, there's Fog of War in place, so I can't see what the enemies are doing. Uh, there's three lanes, and in about a minute, um, our mini units, because this is technically an RTS, so our uh, our cannon fodder is going to all those little guys are going to start streaming down these three lanes you see here, and trying to attack the enemy base. Now it is our job as champions, uh, basically the playable characters, to help them do their job and get over there so we can destroy the enemy base and win, and also kill the other enemy champions so they can't do the same thing to us. Now in this game there are items you can buy to upgrade your character, and uh, you get money every few seconds and by killing things, and you can buy uh, upgrades. Like right now I've got uh, cloth armor which is going to add plus 18 to my armor, and I'm going to show you why I got that in a second. Uh, but back on to Warwick, Warwick is a jungler, so he does really well in killing enemies in the jungle, because when the, our uh, cannon father minions spawn, minions have right spawned. there, let me get a look at them real quick, there they are. Uh, also, random enemies and monsters will spawn in the woods, and I'm going to be killing those instead of being in one of these lanes like my other teammates. Uh, this does two things. One, uh, this helps me because there's very little, little risk of me dying in here. I can just level up safely. And two, uh, since I'm not out there taking a lane with my teammates, they are actually getting more experience because they are fighting everything in here by themselves. While I am in here fighting these uh, stronger enemies, staying about the same level as them. So with this, uh, with this, uh, as long as they don't die, we will have stronger level characters than the other team. Probably. Don't know what the other team's ever going to do. Uh, so I'm playing Warwick now. So I'm jungling. So I'm just going to show you the pattern I do here. I take out these two ogre rock ogre things at the bottom, and then I come over here. Unfortunately, it looks like this guy who's being an idiot is stealing my kills. And yes. Yes, he is. What an idiot. Um, technically, that guy's name's Erd or something like that. It's a weird spelled name. Uh, he's gonna die. Oh my gosh. Really? Really, Erd? You're gonna get yourself... Okay. Uh, once again, I'm not the worst player in the game. That was the worst player in the game. Sigh. Okay. So, he should not be in here. I am really good at jungling. The reason Warwick is so good at it is uh, Warwick, as a werewolf, 
Uh, when he attacks people, he heals. You'll watch, you'll see green numbers appearing above my head a lot during a fight. That's me healing, because every time I attack somebody, I get an HP back for it. And all my abilities specialize in that. Like, my main ability down here, Hungering Strike, allows me to hit someone for massive damage and take every bit of damage I do, I get that much health back. Um, hunger, Hunter's Call there will increase my attack speed, so I attack more often, more attacks in, the more I heal. And then my final uh, alt, my special ability, Infinite Duress, allows me to teleport to an, an enemy and then hold them there while I slice them to bits, healing quite a bit and doing some damage to them. Uh, my other ability, which is um, right here, actually I'm going to go stand over here, uh, Blood Scent oh, alerts me if there's an enemy nearby with low health. Warwick is classified um, a lot as a ganker, which means I come up from behind and kill the enemy who doesn't expect anyone to be around him when he is at low HP. And so Warwick is very good at that. Uh, I'm sorry if I ramble, because once again I'm not the best person at this game, and I'm just trying to uh, explain how it works so that you people watching will be able to understand what the heck's going on, and might even think, oh, this look game looks fun, because I want more people to play this. It really deserves a lot of attention. A lot of effort was put into it. Uh, real quick, uh, the game, I'm going to zoom in here. The game, the people who create this game are big geeks, and so there's a lot of puns in here, like everyone has a dance, and if uh, you see this, or if I type in dance, work will start doing the thriller. Yes. Uh, so they're big video game, no. pop culture, and anime fans who made this game. So uh, one character named Ezreal actually does the Haruhi Suzumiya dance, if you know what that is. That's an anime. If you don't know what that is, ignore me. I'm going to go kill these guys over here, which I couldn't kill before because... What's its face? Stole my kill. That jerk. And he didn't even do it properly. What a waste. So my tactic here is just to stay in the woods as much as possible and kill guys until I get up to level 6. Upon reaching level 6, I will gain infinite duress and that will really help me with ganking people. Um, I'll show you why once I get it. But infinite duress since it allows me to teleport to them and hold them there, that will stop them from escaping when they see me and go, oh dear, it's Warwick. It will also allow my teammates to help me gang up on, the, on them. Uh, blood Scent will help me catch up to them, since uh, Blood Scent, besides it alerting me when there's a weak enemy nearby, it also increases my movement speed, because I'm like, ooh, food. Um, right now, actually I just got exactly what I need, I was waiting for 700 gold, because once I get, obtain 700 gold, I can get an item that is very useful for me in the jungle. And that would be the Mandarin's Blood Razors. Uh, what these do is there's a 15% chance that when I hit a non-champion, so anyone who is not a champion, all the little guys and the guys in the jungle, I will do an instant super crit on them and do about 500 points worth of damage. Which means I can effectively, since I have a Hunter's Call, which increases the amount of my, uh, my attack speed, my odds of getting that are really high, so I will kill them off a lot faster. Ooh, I really want to go gank Trendemir right there, who just ran away. That's that character. Um, but unfortunately, I still don't have level 6. So, I would be able to, I probably wouldn't be able to do it, and I very well might get ganked myself. So I'm going to stay back here and hide some more. Apparently, my team sucks because they can't stay alive more than 3 seconds. Which is scaring me. Oh, Trendemir's back. He's got a lot of HP. And she's level 6. I, I probably can't get her before she makes the turret. Uh, my job, my second job as Warwick, is uh, what I'm going to do right now, is if an ally dies or has to go heal, go back to the base, because um, back here, if you stand in this little circle, you heal, um, I take their lane for them until they get back. And that guy's got himself killed off, and she's probably going to kill me now, because I am much lower level than her. But I'm going to try to sit here and hold her back until Veger, who's coming up at the bottom if you look, can get back up here and take my place. Uh, this also will allow me to gain more XP, because you gain a lot more XP in a lane than you do jungling. There's just so many more things to kill, and they're just so happy to be killed. I mean, these these come walk up to you and they're like, hey, kill me. Okay, Veer's back, and he can start doing his job. But I'm going to steal his kill. Or not. Dang it, Veer. Okay, I got two more levels to go before I can uh, start killing people. 
effectively. Uh, my other job as Warwick is to take out the dragon, which is down in this little circle. And I can do that starting about level 5, but I prefer to be level 6 just to be safe. Because bad things happen if you are not safe. Um, I've got myself killed by a dragon quite a few times by jumping in there a little bit too earlier than I should. Both these, uh, I would say both these people are gankable, because they're at low HP right now. Unfortunately, they're both, um, tanks in their own sense. Trendomir has an abil his, uh, final ability, allows him to turn invincible for a little bit. And the other guy, um, I know he has, like, a super HP regen defense thing. I can't remember exactly what he has, but I know he's a tank. I've there's 50 plus characters, guys. Give me some break, okay? I'm sorry I don't know everything about this game, but there's a lot to learn, and I have to play Dota. Alright, so, what this monster has, if you see him circle around him, is actually a buff. It's a power up, and if I kill him, I get it. So now, you see, now I have the red thing circling me, and that's an attack upgrade. And once again, Urdu down here is stealing my kills. Because he is an idiot. And he very well might die. Nah, nah, nah. Still, he's stealing my power-ups. Uh, normally what I do is work is I obtain both power-ups, then I go on a killing spree, taking guys out, because the one he's getting increases my mana regen, and uh, the one I have increases attack power, so I become god. Unfortunately, with only one, though, I am not nearly as well as I need to be. And I'm still not even level 6 yet, which I really want to be to take out him. But... He is really weak and really close to the base, so I'm going to try for game. It's probably not the smartest move in the world, but you know what? F it. We're going to see if we can take him out. Or at least scare him off. Yeah, we're just going to scare him off. Because I am not a ganker at the moment. Uh, the reason I am not is because while well, I've been talking to her, I've forgotten to buy Blood Scent, so I could speed up and catch up to him, and I still don't have infinite duress. Uh, the trick to beating these guys is these guys can actually beat the hell out of you if you let them. But if you take out the leader who heals from attacking you with the, the spell smite, you're pretty good. And that's probably something I should have explained to you. I haven't explained the spells. Spell, you can spend two spells entering a battle because you are a summoner and use some of these guys to fight for you. The ones I have are flash and smite. Smite allows me to do one of those super criticals to an enemy. Does uh, 420 plus 25 times my level damage to any uh, enemy that's not a champion, and Flash allows me to teleport a short distance. The reason I have Flash is if uh, I get ganked and they start coming after me and I can't get away, I can then teleport to safety. And Smite allows me to kill these guys off a lot quicker. So let's go down this way. I am now level 6. I am now a ganker. Unfortunately, I don't see anybody around. Oh, I can, no, he's next to the nearest turret, and she's fine. Um, that's another thing I need to point out. Turrets. There are turrets on the map. These turrets are what keep the champions back, because if you notice, they do a hell of a lot of damage. Um, and they also kill the little guys. So our job is to take out the turrets, because if we can take them out, if you look on the map, we can get closer and closer to the base without being damaged. Alright, now I'm going to take out this dragon. Um, I should be fine on level 6. I should be able to take him out pretty easily. Yes, he does hurt me, but I hurt him, and I heal. I heal good. I'm kind of upset that I don't have both of my buffs right now, because I normally have the magic regen and the attack buff while fighting him. But at level 6, I should be able to take him easily. And if I don't, I can blame her. So I'm getting a little bit worried right now. He's getting me pretty low. I should be. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to teleport back to base. Because I am gankable at the moment. I am very gankable. If anyone knows I'm there, I'm a dead man. Alright, let's buy some upgrades here. Alright, I get the, the Mercury's Treads. Uh, it's a, this will increase my movement speed by 2 but and give me 25 magic resistance. But also, it will reduce the, the duration of uh, ailments. So if someone slows me or poisons me or something like that, uh, it'll only cut, it will be go down by 35% of the time it should be doing that to me. So that's really great for Warwick, because if someone tries to slow me after while I'm chasing them, it won't 